Hi, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Coming to the variety of examples, next is the PNP transistor. When you look at the diagram, this side is your, this is your P, this is your N and this is your P, right? How to identify? Look at the position of the arrow. It is always from P to N. So this is your PNP. How to identify the emitter? IE is given, which means that this becomes your emitter, this becomes your base and this becomes your collector right so base emitter and collector and you have in pin type of transistor now our aim is to find the value of ib ic and ie if you know the value of ib you can find the value of ic if you know these two values you can find the value of ie so our basic aim is to find the value of ib right if any one of the value if you know you can find the other values so basically i am starting with the value of the ib so for ib what we do we apply the kvl to the base loop right in order to apply the kvl we need to identify the loop in which we need to apply the kvl right so these three values you can find and another question has another part to find the value of rc the collector resistance also we need to find out right now when you apply kvl i have took a part of the circuit i have took a part of the circuit this is the upper part so we need to apply kvl wherever you have veb wherever you have vbe or VEB. If you have NPN transistor, you will have VBE and if you have PNP transistor, you have VEB. So wherever is your VEB, you, that is your base loop. There you need to apply the KVL. So I will apply KVL from this point to this point. So when you write the KVL equation, how you are going to write the KVL equation? Again for simplification, I am drawing positive negative, right? The upper one, then negative positive, then your resistor now this is the simplified circuit you can see this is 5 volts and this is 1.5 volts so when you apply kvl in the loop what will be the equation of the kvl kvl in this loop will be you can write kvl to emitter base loop the equation will be this 5 volts so you can write v plus minus veb on that is this volt why take minus because we are living with a negative sign here again we are living with the negative sign VEB then again the current positive to negative we are living with negative so minus IB into RB minus VBB equals to 0 right so you can find the value of IB as V plus minus VEB on minus VBB upon RB so this will give you IB as 5 micro ampere as you find the value of IB you can find the value of two other components which are those you can find the value of IC which is beta times IB so once you know IB you can find IC IC will come as 0.5 milliampere once you know IC you can find IE as IB plus IC this will give you IE as how much 0 0.505 milliampere you can see IE and IC are almost the same and the unit is in milliampere whereas IB always in microampere now the next part is to find the value of RC 